All right, I want to show you today how to connect to a server that perhaps you are having trouble connecting to. So let's say the server, for instance, was called um, Domino1. In my instance, it could be called that because I have a server called that. Well, whenever I go to connect to it to open a database, it may come up saying that it can't connect. And here is what I need to do. All I need to do is go to open the service. So I go Control O, and this comes up. It's got look in, and it's got on my computer, but I want it to go to another server. Now I can go and select the server from here, and it may or may not be able to find that server. So as long as I'm on the same network and I can actually see the IP address that that um, server is sitting on, I should be able to get to it. So I can just type in the IP address of it. So 10.10.10.20, hit enter, and there it's connected to that server. Now that would have created a connection document um, so that this machine that I'm using can also find that server, Domino1, in the future. So now when I go to open a server, a um, database on Domino1, I should be able to get this list, or if I click on it on my desktop, I should, it should be able to open the database. So if I go Control O, Domino1, and there it's connecting, as simple as that. Um, that's an easy way to do it without having to manually create a connection document, which kind of takes a little bit longer, um, but at the same time you can actually control a few more things through the connection document. But if I now go into my address book and look at the connection documents, I'm going to find there um, a connection to that server with that IP address.